Hi, I'm Tommy from Patriot Campers, and today I'm going to run you through the Patriot Campers X1. For MY22, we've made a few updates. Firstly, the decals. We've updated them so you can tell that it's an MY22. You've got a new air filter cartridge box by Picor. You've got a new Anderson plug design with strain relief. And a new revised awning support bracket. Let's go check out those updates on the camper trailer. Okay, starting off at the front here, we've got the DA35 hitch from Cruise Master on the front. This is by far the safest and easiest hitch to use on the market. Got a handbrake there connected to your 10 inch electric drum brakes. And also new for MY22, a new upgrade is the Strain Relief Anderson plug. So this is gonna allow you to plug in and unplug nice and easy, nice grip on the side. And then you've got a good dust cap on the front. So that's a really great improvement there. Jockey wheel on the front, and when you are connected to the car, you're gonna place it here on the jockey wheel holder. Now that's designed to still allow you to get that front box open. There's a tap on the drawbar which is connected to 155 litres of water via a water pump, and the switch for that is in the kitchen. We'll run through that a bit later on. This model has actually got the diesel hot water system upgrade. So this is gonna give you heating into your tent, it's gonna give you plumbed hot water to your sink, and you connect your shower here and everything's ready to go. So five minutes of it heating up, you've got full hot water system uh, run through the trailer. Now this is definitely one of those upgrades that uh, if you talk to anyone who's got one, uh, is a must. You've got a barbecue swing arm and barbecue option on this one as well. This is a, one of the most standard features that most people go for because uh, it's so usable. You've got a bottle jack in the top on the shelf there for when you're changing your tire, a fire extinguisher and an LED light strip. So you're really getting all the light into the box section at the front. So you do get one gas bottle holder as standard and this one here has been optioned with two. So they'll hold up to a four and a half kilo gas bottle. Uh, automotive rubber seals on the doors, this is gonna keep a lot of the dust out. We've got the Max Trax uh, Extreme from Picor. This is an option you could get on your camper trailer where it's gonna keep these match tracks in a really great position, easy to get to when you need them. The chassis here, um, you can see it's got an extended drawbar, so that is an option, so it gives you an extra 200 mil, and the reason why you'll do that is because you have a tray back ute or a vehicle with a large rear opening door. Otherwise, it's a little about 200 mil shorter, um, and that is your standard, but you can speak to your dealer about those options. So the Ridgey Light chassis is a hot dip galvanized steel. It's gonna give you a low tear weight and it's gonna be a lot better keeping that weight down low with full driving and towing. So the barbecue arm swings the barbecue right into place right next to your fridge. So it gives you access to those meats, butters, uh, everything you're gonna need to, to cook with. Um, yeah, and this is such a popular item. For the pure fat, it just makes cooking easy. You can do roasts on here, um, you can do all your meats, uh, you can even do things like nachos and, and warm things up. Great option for the barbecue and it's definitely something to consider when you are ticking those options. Coming over to the kitchen slide out, we've got a large sink with a hot and cold tap. They're actually plumbed. So you don't have to do any connections, you just press the water pump and away you go. Um, we do have a plate storage area and a wet sponge storage area, conveniently located next to the sink. And a cutlery drawer. It's easy to slide out and we'll fit everything that you need in there. There's a couple of things that we supply with your camper trailer to help with the sink there. One of those things is a sink stabilizer leg. So that's gonna help support this area here, um, stop it moving around. Also, the black drainage hose. So this is gonna connect to underneath your sink. 
So you can let that water run away from your campsite um, or you can put a bucket underneath. So this trailer here is optioned with the 55 litre Dometic fridge and this is going to be great for storing all your food that you're going to take away with you on your trips. So the fridges are all strapped into place like so, um, so that again when off-road situations the fridge stays exactly where it needs to. RX1 Kitchen is renowned for being the camper's kitchen. This is an L-shaped kitchen which allows you to have access to your fridge, your sink, your cutlery, everything without having to do too much moving around. You know, it's all in one spot. We've also got these large bench spaces which are perfect for prepping all that food when you are cooking. And that's typically what happens when you go camping with one of these. You do spend a lot of time cooking for your family, for friends, or, or for even people that are around the campsite. Standard feature for your camper trailer is the two burner stove by Dometic. So it easily slides out and it's even got your windbreak walls, uh, which is going to allow you to still be able to cook and boil water without the wind affecting it. Easy to adjust dials and you do have ignition here. One of the coolest things though is the grill plate underneath. So with that you can do toast, grilled cheese um, and that sort of thing. Now this is operating at a high output of a 20,000 BTU. So it does mean that if you are at the beach and that wind is coming through pretty hard, it's not gonna affect how much you're cooking. But when we slide it back in, you'll see all the drawers and the storage that we have accessible here, which have been specifically designed for those longer items, alfoil, bread, eggs. Um, this one here is great for cups and mugs and bowls. Um, and then this one here, is absolutely perfect for those everyday items. Your salts, peppers, teas, coffees, oils, the stuff that you use on a regular basis. This is also the hub for the main electrics of the camper trailer. So this is gonna really um, be where you'll spend a lot of time looking at your battery management system, where your power's going and adjusting lights um, and things like that. So 240 input and you've got solar charging. Now they're charging two deep cycle batteries, which are standard with the X1. This particular trailer, we have upgraded to the Tech Pack, which gives you the upgraded battery management system, the TVMS. So what that does, it teams all of your power, your, your dials, uh, your switches, all into one user interface. And so you can easily see exactly what's going on at the touch of a button. You can also upgrade these batteries to a lithium battery, which are going to give you a quicker charging. It's going to give you a lot longer time off grid. It's also going to give you a better power output. You've got two level gauges here, which operate your airbag suspension and your PSI reading, so you can see exactly how much pressure you've got in your airbags. You can see up here in the corner, this is your dial for your Wabasto diesel hot water system. And you're going to turn this on, get your heating going, get your hot water system going. Um, it takes about five minutes to heat up but then you've got full hot water uh, accessibility with your shower and at your sink. And when you're camping, it's very important that you have a lot of shade, especially here in Australia. The awnings covers right around the back and all the way around the front over the barbecue. It pops up on the scissor lift system, which is operated by one person. It's gas assisted as well, and it locks in using this bracket here. You've got LED lighting, which can be dimmed or brightened using a soft touch button. Another update for MY22 is the awning support brackets, which are gonna give you added support to that awning on rougher terrain. These awning support brackets are fully retrofittable. So for those of you with a peak or awning on a camper trailer that don't currently have these, contact your closest dealer for that retrofit pack. They have these integrated poles. You don't have to carry the extra poles to put it up. They fold right the way up here and connect via a magnet. You'll also notice they've got integrated guy ropes. Now these are stored in pouches so they don't get in the way when you're not using them. But these middle ones would be great for water runoff. So as they come down, they'll create gutter systems. And the ones on the edges are great for when you're at the beach and you're really trying to peg that down in that, those windy conditions. The hex core material we use for the awning is a UPF 50 plus rated, which means it's extremely protective from the sun. Mm -hmm. 
Our camp is renowned for storage, and on the next one, you've got 2,000 litres of storage, and the majority of it is in this rear compartment here. So this is great for your tables, your chairs, your hammocks, the stuff that you would take with you in the back of the car that are big and bulky. You've also got a pole holder here and a storage place here for zip ties, pegs, fuses, you know, those little bits and pieces. The honeycomb wet storage boxes at the back, which would be great for recovery gear, boots, floor mats, rubbish, the sort of stuff that you don't want to put back inside your car. You've also got this large drawer system. Now this is perfect for dry food, pots and pans. It's also got three separators on each side, so you can really customise it for it to suit you and your family. So you notice up the front here, there's two removable panels. Now that under there is your service module. That contains your two batteries, your battery management system, your water pump and your air compressor. So it's all very conveniently in one area. If we lift up this door, you've got these two recovery points so you can be recovered or recover using these points. There's an accessories hitch in the back and as you can see, a gas assisted rear tire swing away. So it gives you a full size 16 inch alloy wheel with a 33 inch mud terrain tire. So the Patriot Campers X1 comes with the X-Crew suspension. Now standard, you do get the coils, but this one here has the tech pack. So you have the airbag suspension upgrade with this one. So you can level your trailer from side to side. It's also gonna help with those hard off-road tracks, keeping your trailer nice and smooth. You've got a 16 inch alloy wheel from Picor and a 33 inch mud terrain tire. When you've got a camper like this that's designed to go anywhere, it's important that you're protecting it. So we've got large stone deflecting mud flaps, bash plates and we've increased the ground clearance. All of these in a combination is why this camp is one of the best off-road trailers you can get. Now here we are at the tent. So the next one comes with a CS3 tent, which is camp set up three minutes. So if you're just setting up for the night, you have about three minutes and you'll be in bed. The tent is a 300 gram ripstop canvas. So it's extremely durable. You've got a tropical roof that goes over the whole thing that's gonna protect you from the sun and the rain. And you've also got a number of windows to give you lots of ventilation. The floor has plenty of peak down points, so getting the canvas nice and tight is not going to be a problem. The kids' multi-room is a full zip-on room. It can also be folded back up under the main cover. You don't have to unzip it each time. You've got really great ventilation, so you've got a window at the back and you've got windows at the side, which are fully covered using these side flaps. The kids' room is a large, really usable space. So however you want to configure the kids is really up to you. You've got a strap here so you can strap in a lantern or a fan. And also, you know, if you're going to bed later than the kids, you can actually drop these side bits down here, um, which are really section them off from you. But you can be guaranteed that the kids are going to be comfortable. First thing you notice when you come into the CS3 tent is the tent step ladder. Better than your traditional ladder that runs straight up with small metal runners. Now these are injected molded plastic, which is gonna be a lot better on your feet when you do have no shoes on and you're coming out of bed. Moving up to the bed, you've got a large pocket spring gel top mattress. All your bedding can stay there when you do pack this away. So you don't have to make and unpack the bed every time you set up. So you can push the bed over during the day by just lifting this up, connecting it here, and then just one big push. You don't have to push it all the way, okay? So you can get it over a little bit easier. Um, you do want to bring it down um, when you go to bed. This is now giving me access to these side compartments. Now this area here is perfect for closed storage. So it gives you really good access here, and this bench is great for pulling those storage boxes out and really working out what you're gonna need. You see here a thousand watt inverter, which is part of your tech pack and the fuses up here. This shelf makes for a great charging shelf and a toiletry shelf. Let's have a look to see what's in this compartment. In this area, you can see you've got the optional utility side, which is great for a porta potty, esky, and those other heavy items. A shelf above there uh, for storing solar blankets, hoses, and other items like that. 
An update for MY22 is the new Picor air filter box. This is going to give you improved airflow into the boxes, which is going to improve your pressurization. The cartridge box also has an improved drainage system, which drains straight out the bottom of the camper trailer. So you can see how versatile the X1 really is. If you do want to find out more, you can jump on the website or visit one of our dealers. I'll see you next time.